Hello, welcome to Mooney Talk with Alan. COVID-19 pandemic has changed our lifestyle forever. With more time spent at home, we net more, snack more, and perhaps gain a bit more weight as well. But don't worry, be happy. The summer body can always wait until next year. Around the globe, the community stay updated to the pandemic news through various media channels and government announcements. In our home ground, the Prime Minister Li Xinlong recently posted a video on his Facebook page and once again urged Singapore citizens to get vaccinated against COVID-19, stating that it is very safe. The various news and updates not only give the community more confidence, but also make us better informed to tackle the virus. Beyond the pandemic, we've also shifted our perspectives in investment. The pandemic brings in challenges as well as opportunity to many industries such as the healthcare sector. In the past few years, healthcare stocks have been growing faster than the economy because of aging population, treatment advances for chronic disease, and technological advances in telehealth and remote patient monitoring. Do you know that by the end of July, healthcare is already the second largest sector in the S&P 500, represents around 10% of the Nasdaq, and five of the top 30 stocks in the Dow Jones industry average are healthcare related. Healthcare has such a bright prospect, but how do we know who are the healthcare stocks? First, we open the Moomoo app. On the bottom left, click Quotes. Then on the top, we select Markets. From there, we further look into the US market. Then scroll down and go into the sector page. There are many sectors considered to be healthcare related, and we've got a list here for you. The list ranges from the front-end pharmaceutical retailers who serve the customers, to the manufacturers who mass produces fully developed and approved drugs and medical devices, as well as the biotechnology firms who stand in the back end of the pipeline, researching and developing the bleeding edge technology. Vaccine companies are a good example of healthcare stocks that benefited from the pandemic. Some of these companies have received regulatory approval for drugs to treat COVID-19 and begun distributing vaccines. Others are rushing to develop and win approval for new COVID-19 drugs. Several US listed drug makers such as Pfizer, BioNTech, Moderna and J&J &J have already won emergency use authorization from the U.S. Food and Drugs Administration for their COVID-19 vaccines. Others, such as AstraZeneca, has already been used in many countries and might soon receive the same approval from the United States. In Singapore, under the Special Access Route, the Pfizer-BioNTech, Moderna and Sinovac vaccines are approved. Many other drug makers are still under development for example, Novavax, Ocugen, and Vexart. We can keep an eye on them for the time being. Vaccine stocks may experience a greater price appreciation if their experimental vaccine proved to be safe and effective even for the variant. And the emergence of new coronavirus variants may extend the vaccination demand for a longer time than previously anticipated, hence boost the overall revenue for drug makers over many years. One good example here is Moderna. Moderna has announced to join the S&P 500 weeks ago and become one of the best performing stocks this year with its price up over 200%. The strong performance, as interpreted by the market, comes from Moderna's successful vaccine for COVID-19. It's worth to be noted, the vaccine not only gives Moderna a flood of revenue, but it also proves the value of the mRNA technology for human beings to combat virus. As some of the vaccine stocks price are already at a record high, whether this upward trend may continue should be carefully considered. Future growth of the vaccine company will depend not only on the COVID-19 vaccines, but also other products that may bring in cash to these companies after the pandemic ends. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. Vaccinations could be more effective than an apple during pandemic, but it is also a lot more expensive than apples. If health is wealth, do you think this is a golden opportunity to invest in the healthcare industry? 
Please share your views on the vaccine stocks with us in the comment section below. Investment carries risks and we should be cautious all the time. No stocks mentioned in this video are to be considered as investment advice. Thanks for watching. As always, please use the buttons below to give us a like and subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned and see you next time.